Intimidation, Manipulation, and Extortion in the past, the Mafia was one of the biggest groups that operated this way. They would send some gangsters to rough up the store owner and come by later with someone new and say, Hey, I saw what those guys did to your store. For a fee, I'll make sure those guys never bother you again. And if you don't decide to pay me, then I'm going to rough up your store. Sounds a little unfair, right? The good news is this is now illegal. And our daily problems consist more of deciding what to eat every single day after work. Do I cook at home and be healthy? Do I order delivery? If I order delivery... How will I know the restaurant is even good? Enter Yelp. Yelp is one of the largest review websites for local businesses in the US outside of Google. But have you ever thought about which businesses they choose to display on their website? Ever notice how the same businesses keep popping up over and over again? The answer to this may shock you. While Yelp may be helpful to the average user, they may have pulled a couple of pages from the Mafia playbook in regards to small businesses. In today's video, we'll be talking about the dark side of Yelp and how the company and the Mafia operate on similar levels. If you're not familiar with Yelp, here's a bit of a refresher to the company. Yelp is an online directory where users can post reviews about certain stores or services and write about their thoughts on local businesses. This includes writing a blog-like post about what the business offers, complete with pictures and videos of the user's experience. Yelp users can also leave a rating from one to five stars. It's a platform that connects you as a customer to local stores and services. Aside from being an online directory, Yelp also allows users to interact with one another. In that regard, Yelp also functions as a social media site while serving its original and main focus. Users can like the reviews they find most helpful, prompting posters to be more creative in how they present the reviews. Like most businesses, Yelp had its humble beginnings. The platform was the brainchild of two people who used to work at PayPal, Jeremy Stoppelman and Russell Simmons back in 2004. This came after Stoppelman got sick with the flu and wanted to find a doctor nearby who he can go to for a consultation. To his frustration, he couldn't find any online. This frustration led to the idea of a project that could help others find goods and services through an email-based circle of referrals, where people would basically help each other out in finding what they want. You go to a website, you sign up for the service, then you'd have to email it to a couple of friends who you think might have an opinion on it. Yelp then asks if they know anyone who can recommend it, and on and on and on. It was entirely way too complicated. A year later, Yelp formally switched to user reviews as the basis for its website, and it's how we know of it today. The name came from the blending of yellow pages and the word help. So how does Yelp affect businesses? Well, those with high ratings and reviews move up on the algorithm and get featured on the first page more often. A study done by a group of Harvard students backed this claim, where it was shown that each star of a business's profile rating resulted in a 5-9% to increase in sales. Another study also revealed that when a rating goes up from 3.5 to 4 stars, there is a 19% more chance of having a restaurant fully booked during peak hours. Again, the more positive ratings the store has, the more potential customers will come in and make a purchase. With this in mind, a Yelp review can really make or break the business's performance. With the revenue at stake, they know very well the importance of having a 5 star rating on Yelp. This is where Yelp starts to go a bit on the dark side. Yelp offers businesses the chance to appear at the top of search results. This comes at an extra price, of course. Paying for a premium Yelp subscription means the business appears first on the user's end. Yelp even features these businesses to appear on a competitor's profile. So if the business has more money to pay Yelp for advertising, the more likely the business will also have higher sales and profit. This puts small businesses at a disadvantage when you put them against bigger businesses who are willing to pay for advertising. That's like pitting a giant against a newborn child. The problem gets even worse as Yelp has been accused of actively taking advantage of the whole thing. Since Yelp knows that businesses are attracted by the prospect of getting more positive reviews and more sales, the company allegedly went ahead and lowered the ratings of certain businesses that chose not to pay for Yelp advertising. This gives Yelp the unfair leverage of holding a business at its neck until it pays for the membership fee. Sounding like the mafia yet? Some say the company even goes as far as hiding positive reviews that the business genuinely used to have and replacing these with negative ratings and reviews. Recently, more business owners have voiced complaints as they observe the same things happening to their business profiles. They notice that once they pay the $150 advertising fee, the reviews turn back to all positive ones. In an instant, the negative reviews are removed from the business profile. Positive reviews then come up as a mix of old ones and new ones that feel automated. This pattern has been noticed by hundreds of owners already testing out the theory themselves, all coming to the same conclusion. Paying the monthly advertising fee puts their business profiles in a better light, while those that didn't subscribe had to suffer negative reviews. A few people also tested if reviews for a business really get posted in public. After posting several reviews, they found out that these reviews only end up in the not recommended reviews section. 
The ratings that come with this are also not counted towards the business total rating. This means that even if real users and customers leave reviews, these are ignored and will never be published on the Yelp page of their business. This extortion scheme doesn't only involve restaurants or stores dealing with tangible products. In fact, it affects everyone who doesn't pay the premium, even those offering services. A handyman who also listed his services on the platform complained about this through Yelp's contact center. He didn't understand why reviews made by clients remain unseen in his Yelp profile. He knows for sure that his clients left good reviews for him, yet not a single one was reflected in his profile. Yelp simply reasoned out that the accounts were not reliable enough to be considered. This comes as a total cop-out considering his clients have personally vouched that they already posted reviews, not to mention that they were indeed real people whom the handyman met in person and provided services for. Hundreds of business owners and service providers reported the same things, which makes these extortion allegations more likely to be true. A single complaint is one thing, but multiple businesses saying the same thing? That certainly casts a doubt on Yelp's business practices. Yelp continues to strongly deny these allegations with repeated excuse of reviews being made by bots or unreliable accounts. The company further states that these claims are simply conspiracy theories made to tarnish the company's reputation. True or not, business owners clearly believe otherwise, as some of them have filed lawsuits against Yelp. In 2011, a class action case by business owners was filed against the company which accused Yelp of extorting advertising fees from them. Yelp allegedly tweaked reviews into negative ones, affecting much of their businesses. This case did not succeed as it was quickly dismissed for lack of grounds with sufficient proof. Another business owner filed a lawsuit after she noticed her business review page to be full of negative reviews and ratings. This came during the same time that she opted out of paying for the advertising fee. Like the previous one, this case was also dismissed after Yelp successfully filed a motion which was granted on appeal. According to the ruling, Yelp didn't intentionally hide positive reviews and write fake ones. This means Yelp didn't do anything wrong, or at the very least, there's not yet a law that tackles this aspect specifically. There's also the story of Chef Davide Serratini, who instead of going to court, he decided to go against Yelp's algorithm directly. In the spring of 2014, after turning down a Yelp salesperson, his business suddenly had one-star reviews showing up on his page. Those one-star reviews were from people who never even set foot in my restaurant. One complained about our waiters. We didn't even have waiters. He realized Yelp was controlling his reputation. Eventually, he came to the thought of, what if I don't care about my reputation? Serratini then put up a sign saying give us a one-star review on Yelp and get 50% off any pizza. Hate us on Yelp. The following Friday after he posted the promotion, journalists, fellow restaurant owners, and supporters all came piling into his restaurant. He made more business that day than he typically did in an entire month. Despite all these allegations and lawsuits, Yelp has never been charged successfully for its unethical business practices. Yelp saying that some businesses are merely trying to bring the platform down actually holds some truth because a few of them were actively faking reviews to boost ratings. That said, Yelp is perhaps just as guilty because the platform does put small businesses that decide not to pay for advertising at a disadvantage. For a company whose original aim was to help people find their needs, it has moved far away from this path. While the people behind Yelp may deny everything, it doesn't take a lot of effort to conclude that it's not as fair as it claims to be, especially to local businesses that are just starting out. Yelp's practices may not be legally called extortion, but we do know one thing. Yelp needs another revamp to put back fair and ethical practices. In the digital age where everything can lose value rather quickly, Yelp should listen to these complaints and provide a better system as an online directory. If they wish to stay relevant in the next decade, now's the time to address these concerns and work on steps to provide better Yelp experience for both consumers and businesses. For now, Yelp can still enjoy its $309 million net revenue for the third quarter of this year. Looks like businesses are paying for that protection after all. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and let me know what you want to see next in the comment section down below.